tonight is we're going to fold up our book. Not that we're going to put anything in it yet, but we're going to fold it up because that's always fun. And I would like to start off by doing um, this heart lock uh, thing, which just opens out so you've got room for photos. So I'd like to do that um, first of all. And then if we've got time, and it is an if, if we've got time, what we'll do is we'll start looking at this page under here. OK, this pop up page here. Now, one thing that I'm going to tell you about this book is it's all about templates. So we're going to make lots and lots of templates. Um, so have some spare card to hand so that we can do that. So first of all, let's start with our book. If we made it last week, we got as far as, um, you know, just just doing this much of the cover. But it's always fun, isn't it, to to, um, to fold it up. So that's what I'm going to do now. So I'm just going to now it's had plenty of time to dry. I'm just going to fold it up. I like to use my ruler as a bit of a guide. Do it gently and nothing should crack. There we go. And that is my book. Um, so we need to make some hinges at some point. We don't need to do that tonight, um, but we do. Um, we do need to do that. So you can put that to one side for now because we're not going to need it for a week or so. Um, but what we do need to do is have a look at our pages. So you will notice that on this side of the um, this side of the uh, book, I've just put a plain. It's just plain paper because what's going in the book is kind of bulky. So I didn't want stuff getting stuck because one thing that I found is that if you have like you know a lot of textual bits that flip and flap about. They can easily get stuck. I've frozen. Is anybody else frozen no. or is it just me? Just you. Just me. Okay, great. Hold on. Let's see what happens if I do that. Um, is, uh, yeah, you're very cute. Um, is that if you've got too many bits that you can, they kind of catch on stuff. So um, I thought it would be far easier just to leave that plain. And I've actually also left the black plain over here as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at this first page. And the first thing that I did was I actually matted it because this bit, the um, this this bit that pulls out, that actually is almost like a separate entity that we stick on afterwards. OK, so you need to make sure that you're getting the right page so what we have to do is use one of our pages that has got the flap on it okay so here are the pages that we made last week and we've got two oh squish that oh sorry storm um we've got two that are just flat pages okay they're just flat and ordinary pages and then we've got two that have actually got flaps on okay so what i want to do is use one that's got the flaps on. Evening Kate. OK, so when we put this in the book, it's going to be flat on the front. This page here, this is where we're going to attach it to the hinge. OK, but when I. What are you doing? Are you going? Go on, go on. Oh, Ooh. good shot. That was a heck of a jump. Wow, that was impressive. Uh, right, so um, when you turn the page over, what you've got here is cat hair. And then that opens up like that. OK, so what I want you to do, first of all, is to just plain mat that page. Now, you have to be fairly con careful in the um, in, in how much paper you use. There are some spare bits, but I'm going to make my book exactly the same, the second book, as I have the first one. So um, whatever, if you, you know, if you've got, if you're using the same papers as me, then um, I'm just, like I said, I'm just going to do it the same. Whatever. So let me open this up and grab the pattern paper that I need just to mat that first bit. Let's have a look. Which one is it? Oh, can't see. Right. 
okay so i'm going to use this one and i'm going to just pop it on the back of there now i know that this is eight by eight inches i'll just measure it again just to prove it to myself but i'm pretty certain it's eight by eight inches it better add be otherwise we're in problems eight by eight inches and what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut out that bit that i'm going to mat my page with and when i'm cutting out bits of paper to mat i usually cut them at one eighth of an inch smaller than what i need so for example that page is eight by eight so i'm going to cut them at seven and seven eighths square these papers michelle are by doodlebug design they're out now this is called love notes and i've used a full pack of the pattern paper with the stickers i have used a whole pack of the 12 by 12 um, textured cardstock uh, and then i've just used some of the the sprinkles and the ephemera okay so there's quite a lot of card there but we do need quite a lot okay so i'm going to cut this now and i'm going to cut it at seven eight oh, we still haven't done my trimmer uh, no. can't get the staff no you don't remind me yeah i know it's seven eighths of an inch square okay so i'm just going to put that aside for one second and i'm just going to make sure that that does fit on the way that i want it to which it does and i'm going to glue that on now if you want to um what's the word i want when you color the edges hi joan yeah thank you dear you can ink the edges if you want to i'm not gonna because you know i'm not uh but you you absolutely can um before before you lay it down okay so here we go let's get this party started Finally. right so let's just lie that down there and I need you to make sure that when you're matting this, you have got the opening of this page to the left. OK, so this is your page opening here. This is how it's going to attach to the, um, the hinges when we put them on. And then when you turn that page over, you've got that flap that opens up like that. OK, so make sure... make sure that's what you do right so we're going to put that to one side and what we're going to do now is we're going to make the mechanism which just sits right on the top so what we've got here is we've got our closure mechanism which forms the heart i dread to think tracy quite a few probably we've got that page that flips up these the closing the mechanism opens up and then we've got space here for photographs okay so what we're going to do is we're going to cut these bits out now and I'll show you how I've put it together. And just so you know, this size is six by four, which is the standard size of a photograph. OK, six by four photo. So let's get started. We are going to cut at this point out of our plain cardstock. So mine's going to be cut out of white. So I'm going to grab my trimmer and i'm going to grab some white cardstock and i'm going to cut everything that i need before i start to score it so i'm going to cut one piece at six by four inches okay and this is the base so this is six by four inches okay right put that to one side now i need you to cut two at five and three quarter inches by four inches okay I need you to cut one at six inches by four 
and five eighths of an inch. Now, if you're wondering what on earth five eighths of an inch is, and you've got a trimmer that goes in, it's it's in um, imperial. What you're doing is you're going to four and a half inches here, and then you're going another eighth of an inch. Okay, so that is so the way that I look at it is that it's four and a half plus one. So it's obviously a half would be four eighths. So five eighths is that mark there. So it's halfway between the half inch and the three quarter inch mark. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I know it's a miracle. So I'm going to cut that at. I've forgotten what size I said. Uh, Jacqueline, that's what. Uh, six by four and five eighths. Yeah, six by four and five eighths. What card do I use? Well, I use my own brand card, uh, and um, it's thickness wise, it's called four sheet, which also equates to about somewhere between two twenty two forty uh, yeah. GSM which if you're in the US works out about it could be 80 or 90 um, pound cardstock uh, I wouldn't have it any thinner and I certainly wouldn't have it any thicker for book structure because this is just really easy to score and fold um, and I just I mean I'm biased about my card but um, I like it because it doesn't crack generally I have had a bad batch I'm not going to deny it but on the whole it's absolutely fantastic it's just it's bright white it's super smooth and it doesn't crack when I fold it so which one are we cutting next we're going to cut one at six by eight and a half inches so six by eight and a half inches And then lastly, we're going to cut a template. Now, templates, like I said, are really, really important to this book. And I'm just trying to see. Here's, this is, I've lost some of them. I meant to keep them to show you. But this is one of my templates. Can't remember which bit it's a template from. But it is one of my templates. So if you're going to, you only need to make these once. Then you can keep them for however many times um, you make the book. But you are going to need some templates. And I'll help you draw those out but just quickly i'm just going to cut this one template at two by three inches okay just because it makes it very easy for us to draw our heart okay right you can put your trimmer away for now okay so let me just shift my card out of the way Right, I'm just going to put my template to one side. I'm going to grab my scoreboard and I'm going to start to score. So I'm going to work my way backwards now. Are we all discussing ages? What have I missed? Trace is 65. You never are. I don't believe that. I've seen photos of you. Wow. I'm having some difficulty believing you're 55 as well, Tracy. Oh, is that how we're going to refer to you now? So there's going to be Tracy, 65, Tracy, 55, and Tracy, early 50s. Just David, hello. We were talking about you today. Yeah. Not that I want you to be like, you know, um, paranoid or anything. We missed you on when Wednesday? Wednesday, yeah. Right, OK, mine's frozen again, so I'm presuming that you are all still with me. We're going to score. Uh, we're not going to get very far tonight, are we? We're just going to do this first page. I can see it happening. My dad's wife's the same age as Tracy. You what? My Your dad's dad. twice the same age as... No, my dad's wife is the same age as Tracy Petrie. Oh. oh she's not... Good. Really? Yeah, born in 55. So she's not that much older than us, is she? No. 13 years I don't old. know why I didn't figure that out. My dad was... I've only um, just realised that. My dad was 18 years older than her, but she's only 13 years older than me. Uh -huh. Oh, that's a bit weird. Yes. OK, David, who to? <laughs> and what exactly? And what exactly, yes. Uh-huh. Ellie's only, Ellie's only 26. She's lying. 
She's half our She's age. not. She's not. Ellie, you're 31. Aren't you? Or have I got that completely wrong? Don't worry, it wasn't the police or the tax man. Do you know what? That doesn't help because neither of those two scare me. Not now I've done my tax return. <laughs> I did used to work alongside the police, yes, you're right. You're 27 in June? No way! Why did I think you were 31? That's just bizarre. Oops, I've lost you all again. Oh, <clears throat> I love that song, Tracy. Shall I burst out into Frank Sinatra? Probably best not. Who else is 55? Well, we're not 55, Tracy. but we're not far off, are we? No. We're, we're very, very off. close. I'm a bit closer in a couple of Yeah. Yeah, this is the only time of year when we're the same age, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, where were we? Uh, right, okay. This piece is the one that's six by eight and a half inches, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to score on the eight and a half inch side. So that's the bit at the top. And we're going to score at four inches and at eight inches. So what we've got here are two parallel score lines. So at four and at eight. So that's four inches, that's four inches, and that's half an inch. Okay? No way, Kate. My K Kate, I've always assumed that you were like about I don't know. Twenty one. Not far off. Around thirty. I don't believe this. Happy birthday to everyone who's got a birthday this year. Yes, happy birthday to ev David, 27 in November. Yeah, me too. Decept it's December. Right, anyway, I'm distracted. Uh, <laughs> where was I? Okay, so we've, 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 we've scored on the eight and a half inch side of the six by eight and a half inch one at four inches and eight inches. This piece is six by four and five eighths of an inch. So what we're going to do is we're going to score on the five eighths of an inch one and we're going to score oh. at half an inch and we're going to score at five eighths of an inch. So what we've got here and hold on for this Mel and Ellie stop giggling in the corner. But we've got a half inch flap and a one eighth of an inch gusset. OK. All right. So I don't know how well you can see this. Is that half but inch you and five and one eighth? Eh? What? Half an inch and five eighths of an inch. The youngest and the oldest watching tonight. That's a great idea. Uh, OK, so who's the oldest? I don't I don't I don't know. What's the, what's, what have we, we've had, we, was it, I don't know. Well, Ellie's winning the youngest at the moment, isn't she, at 26? Is there anybody younger than 26? Plus VAT. <gasps> Margaret, Margaret's a contender. The most mature. For the most mature of us, somebody needs to be. What size was the piece, which one? The one I've just scored, the one that I've just scored was four and five eighths of an inch by six inches. And I scored at half an inch and at five eighths of an inch. So what we've got, get ready girls, if you're playing the drinking game, is we've got a half inch flap and a one eighth of an inch gusset. Honestly, you lot, you crack me up. Right, this one is six by four. No, it's not. This one is is five and three quarters by four. OK, so we're going to score on the five and three quarter inch side at half an inch. I don't think this bit's right, by the way. So your guess is as good as mine. We'll have to see. Uh, half an inch, uh, five eighths of an inch. And at three and five eighths of an inch. What on earth was I doing here? So that, in theory, should be three inches. 
Oh my God, that means it's right. Well, I never. Right, so this piece is five and three quarter inches that way and four inches that way. And I've scored on the five and three quarter inch side at half an inch for the flap. Five, five eighths of an inch to give a one in half. And it's not even me who's drinking. Five eighths of an inch to give a one eighth of an inch gusset. And I've also scored at three and five eighths of an inch. And that's exactly the same on the other one. So on the other one, we're going to score at half an inch. Five eighths of an inch. And at three and five eighths of an inch. So that's one past the half inch mark. Yeah. If that makes sense. That's the way I look at it anyway. And then this one, that doesn't need anything doing to it at all. Okay. So you can put your scoreboard away. Right. Now. This one, dead easy. What we're going to do is we're going to attach that under there okay so that's they're the same width but that is going to fold up like that and then fold back like that so that when we open this up it's going to open like that okay so this piece is the six i've lost you all again this piece is the six by four inch piece okay we've got this flap that folds up and then that falls up like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of glue on that flap up to the score line. And I'm going to attach, I'm going to take my glasses off. I'm going to attach that six by four inch piece with no score lines on it up to that score line where that flap is. Okay. So that that now, fo oh. let me glue it properly not enough cat hair in it to make it stick so that's my base piece these are more photo mats and it's going to fold up like that okay let me just grab my bone folder I think it's still in my bag it is I'll use my big one tonight. Mm. Right, so I'm just going to just burnish on those score marks. So that's nice and flat now. So what I've got, I've got my flat piece, that six by four inch piece. And then I've got that eight and a half inch by six inch piece. And that folds out like that. Okay, so it's an accordion, right? Dead simple. Okay. Yeah. Now, what I want to do next is work on these two pieces, which are the ones that are four by five and three quarters, was it? Fancy Peter says you attach the six by four, not scored, up to the six by four and five eighths. No. No. Six by four. This is the six by eight and a half. Okay. So what I've done is I've got the six by eight and a half. I've attached the back of I've attached the, the, the little half inch flap to the back of my six by eight inch piece. OK, and then I folded it like that. So it's become an accordion. OK, now what we're going to do is we're going to attach the side pieces. But first of all, we need to cut them into the heart shape. So we've got one for each side. OK. So I'm just going to put that to one side for a minute. What I've got here is I've got that little gusset, which I'm just going to fold. OK, so this, this piece like that is going to attach. Well, not yet, but when we get round to it, it's going to attach here like that. And then it's going to fold back like that because the heart that we we need to draw the heart shape for the lock is going to be drawn on this piece here okay so this needs to be the polar opposite so we need to have our little gusset 
yeah it's going to be the same just turn it round right so we've got our little gusset okay and then that's going to fold back like that now where's my template piece this which is going to be our template is going to make our heart okay and that's going to fit on top of that so what we're going to do is we're going to draw our heart so here's how i did mine grab a pencil oh my god grab a pencil and you're going to start off what what i would do is i'm going to just make a mark about an inch down okay and i'm i'm going to just draw a bit of a, a little bit of a curved line into my template like that okay so it's a bit of a curved line all right i'm just trying to think how i did this i can't remember if i started it an inch down or not hang on just let me draw it while i think about it and then i'll come back and do it properly because what we're going to do is we've got we've got to draw this so it's half half a heart shape okay but we need to kind of fill up our template as much as possible so that should have a better curve on it okay two by three yeah so what i've done is I've drawn my template this needs to be a little bit more rounded so I'm going to fiddle with it a little bit more I've started in that bottom corner there and I've drawn a mark an inch down there and an inch across there okay this is about three quarters of an inch here and what I've done is I've just joined all those bits up into a heart shape okay but it needs to be probably a little bit more curved than I, I've made it look on this picture so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just grab my scissors and I'm just going to cut that out in a curvy way so I've got my curvy heart. Okay, so I'm just using my scissors to give me a bit more curve than it looks like I've drawn. Okay. So that is my heart shape. You can see if I was to draw two of them, I'd have a heart shape like that. OK, so this is what I thought was the easiest way to do it. I'm going to lie out my template on top of this oh, bit here. Oh, is she? Right. Yeah. So I've got this. This is my left hand side. OK, so I'm just going to pop my template onto there. And I'm just going to draw around it carefully with my pencil. OK. Right, so I can see that's my template there. Now, if I line those two bits up and I turn my template the other way, I can line those two bits up and I can draw around this template she says i can draw around this template so what i've got is a total mirror image of my heart shape so if you can see that when i cut this out that is going to be my lock can you all see that all right i'll put my glasses back on to make sure you can see it okay all right so are we all following this Okay, so what I've got now is this is my locking mechanism here, which, as you can see, forms the shape of a heart and it's perfectly symmetrical because I used my template. OK. Are we good? Right now, what we have to do is we have to cut out that heart shape. All right. But what we're going to do is we're going to cut up here, just snip up to where that heart shape starts and snip down here on that fold and we're going to cut around that mark that we've drawn okay 
with our scissors. Not the ruler. Not the ruler. No, don't don't use the ruler to cut out. It doesn't work terribly well. Okay, so that is my heart locking locking mechanism on that side okay and I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side so I'm going to snip down and I am going to show you how I decorated this because there is an easy way to decorate it so I'll show you that in due course so don't start worrying but don't lose your template so now I'm just going to cut round the other side okay so now you can see here what I've got is my heart mechanism that will lock so I'm just going to burnish that because it, it we need it to lie flat it's not going to lie flat straight away because Paper likes to think about where it's going sometimes, I think. But that is my heart, okay, and that's the way it's going to lock. I want to get rid of any pencil marks I've got around the outside, so I'll use just an eraser, pardon me, just to um, rub that out. I'm not going to use the one on the end of this because it's really manky. I don't know where, I don't know if I've got a good one. Have you got bar, one? Everything needs a good clean. Have you seen the state of my mat? Yes, I have it was dry. Yeah, it's just covered in coffee. I don't even think I've got an eraser. How bad is that? Mm. Oh. Talk amongst yourselves. Oh, I found my scissors. They were underneath my workbox. I've been looking everywhere for my good scissors. Oh. Right, let me just see if I've got any. I haven't. How can I not have one? Anyway, whatever. Rub out where you've made the mess. Right, so what we need to do um, is to decorate this up. And we might as well decorate this bit up um, before we make the uh, mark for the, for the locking bit, which goes in, in that one piece that we've got left. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out... Um, which I'm just going to... burnish that first give it a good rub, it a good rub yes um before oh what a mess uh before uh i put it all together because it's just easier so what did i use in my where's my book what have i used oh the back of that cool cool so these two bits but I'm going to just are uh, three, they're three by four. I knew that. I knew that. I knew, I knew, I knew. Where's my, oh So I'm just going to cut those down to fit. So let me just see, three by four, three by four, so. Let's just make sure that fits on there. Yes, it does. Smells with a tiny cauliflower. And oh, well, um, I think you can get a cream from that. <laughs> uh, there's, there's, there, there is actually a shortage of cauliflowers. I know this because my father's been telling me about it regularly since the autumn, and it's all to do with the fact that it's been too wet to grow them properly. So uh, we've, we, we haven't got many decent sized cauliflowers. They're not very big. 
And if you want another completely useless piece of information, if you've been following me on my page or in my group, you will see that Mark and I have been lamenting the fact that you can't get 13 inch pizza boxes to send crafty goodies in out for love nor money. Especially money. Especially money. And believe me, we have tried. Just plain brown pizza boxes. Anyway, I was having a conversation today with uh, somebody else who was having trouble getting packaging. And uh, they're in the, the cardboard business, let's say. And um, they explained to me, and this is so obvious when you think about it. I can't believe I didn't, th I didn't think of this before. But the reason that we are short of cardboard for packaging across the world is because we're all packaging the vaccine. It's all being used to package up the vaccine. So that's why we can't get pizza boxes. Having said that, we have had some delivered today, but they do say pizza on them. But you can't have everything. Right, OK, so now I'm going to show you a really quick and easy way for you to cover this bit. Right, you've got your template. Here's my uh, paper. So what I'm going to do, I might as well draw on the back and then it doesn't matter, is I'm just going to draw around my template again. Like that and then like that miraculously this is actually the right width and what I'm going to do now now I've got my decent scissors back is I'm going to cut these out but I'm going to cut inside the pencil marks with enough of a gap that I should be able to, you know, to see my cardstock. So I'm just going to cut round now, cut inside that pencil mark. Oh, that was probably too close to the pencil mark. And could have you said you did a brilliant job on packaging her parcel. Thank you very much. Love the big boner. <laughs> Yeah, those big boners are something else, aren't they? Oh, yeah. Feels so good in my hand. Yes, I think yours was one of the last ones before disaster finally struck. So guess what we're doing after class tonight? Yeah. OK, right, so now I've cut that out. I'm going to just cut that down the middle. And in theory, this is going to look like a right idiot if this doesn't work. This should be pretty much the right size, bar a little bit of messing about, to fit on there. And it is not far off, but it does need a little bit of tweaking. So I'm just going to trim it to size until I'm happy with... The shape I've got. See, so now I've got my my white cardstock edge. So I'm going to glue that down. Super. Like that. Try this one. Again. And he's cutting down the middle. It's probably. Just do it a little bit at a time because it's easier to take off too little than to take off too much and have to try and put some back on. You don't want to be doing that. So it's a bit like chocolate, little and often. I've lost my page completely now. Right, here we go. Right, so that's not far off. That'll do near enough. So I'm going to glue that on. Okay. What are you laughing at now? What's Ellie done? 
Oh, you know. <laughs> no, I just assumed it was Ellie. Am I right? Of course I am. Well, it's almost on repeat what she's A bit of girth is always a plus. Yes. Anyway, so there we go. So I've got I've got my my mechanism there. All right. So what I need to do now is just see what else I'm meant to be decorating. Uh, the backs, but I can do that. I can always do that later. Uh, and then the, the, the backs of those. We can come back and do this, but we will have to decorate this piece before we cut the slit for the locking mechanism. So because it's quite tight on paper, like I said, I'm actually going to use the same paper again. So I'm going to use um, the uh, the wood style paper here, if I've got any left, because I'm starting to doubt myself. Here we go. And then I've just used some of the bluey green cardstock on the back there. So let me just grab that too. one is it that one right so I'm just going to cut those down before I go any further so I need to replace the um, the guide on, on my precision because I never put mine on properly in the first place so I've asked Mark if he'll sort it out okay so let's just try again here well no it's not that I don't remind you well, yeah, there is that. Okay, let's pop that away for a moment. I'm just going to fold this. So that I've got my little gusset for those of you who are still playing the drinking game and I'm now going to add these two pieces on now the flap will go at the top so that's going to fit on there okay so just bear that in mind when you're putting on your uh, your paper so the flap is going to go at the top all right so let me just pop a little bit of glue around the card paper let me just pop that on there like that. And I'm going to just pop this on the back. Okay. Right. Now, this is our base, so this is the bit that's going to attach to the page. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to attach the locking mechanisms, okay? So here, if you remember, we've got a half inch flap and here we've got the one eighth of an inch gusset. So I'm just going to put some glue onto that flap up to the half inch mark. Yeah. No, not you. Oh. And I'm going to slip it underneath that original six by four piece that didn't have any score marks on it up to the score line where that gusset starts, okay? So I've attached it so that's underneath, okay? So now, because we've got the gusset, it means that I can fold those up and that is going to attach on the top, all right, like that. And I'm going to attach the one on this side in exactly the same way, but I need to make sure that these two meet in the middle when I attach them, okay? So I'm going to put some glue up to that score line where the gusset is. 
and I'm going to slip it underneath the very back there let's just make sure that's straight because I'm not convinced it is and then when I lie those down they will meet in the middle okay all right so what I've got now is I've got my my photo mat that meets up here we can decorate this if you want to decorate it go ahead I just wanted to decorate just a bit of it just to show you and then that will fit over the top like that and that's great but it's not going to stay still so we need to put this bit over the top which will slip on like that okay and go over the top like that but we need to make sure that we've got a slit for us to put our uh the, these bits through so i need to try and remember how the heck i did this because i can't remember so what i'm going to do first of all is i'm going to mark and i might as well do it on the back because it'll show up a little bit easier i'm going to mark where halfway is now i know that this is exactly six inches so i'm going to take my ruler and i'm going to mark with my pencil at three inches okay so i know that that is the middle this bit here okay but what I need to do is make sure that my slit starts in the right place. So I'm going to measure up from the bottom how far it is to where that heart starts. And it's roughly a quarter of an inch on mine. OK, so I'm just going to measure up here quarter of an inch. So let's just make sure I put it in the right place. If I'm if I line those two, three inch marks up, quarter of an inch starts there. So that's where I need to start my slit. OK. This bit, remember that you've got to put your um, your heart through. So it's got to be as long, this slit has got to be as long as from here. The bigness. The bigness down to that quarter of inch. So I can see just here, if I just eyeball it, if I just put my pencil there, I'm looking at about half an inch from the top. So let's just pop a mark half an inch from the top, okay? So that is roughly the length of the slit that I need. Now, before you cut anything, let me just double check in my book before I tell you how to do it all wrong. And I've lost my book. Where's my book? Oh, here it is. Let me just double check. Yeah, so it's quite a long slit because it's got to be long enough to fit. It's an only one slit. Thank you. Oh no, we're talking about slits now. I'm sure that's got to be worth a swig. Uh, so it's got to fit in there, okay? So it's going to be longer than than just that bit there, okay? Right, so grab a knife, darling. Look away. I'm looking out the window, even though it's dark. You, right, so here is my thingy. Got a knife, uh, ruler. No wonder I hurt myself when I don't even know the difference between a ruler and a knife. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut this slit. That mat selection might feel the one that's clean. Yeah, I know. This is my mixed media mat. So I've got my line where I'm going to cut my slit. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to eyeball this, okay? If, you, if, you're, not, if you're not comfortable eyeballing it, then use your mat to line things up, okay? But we need to cut a slit. It's got to be wider than this because we've, we've got to put that heart through it, okay? So I'm now going to cut this slit the same length as my pencil mark. I'm going to turn that round and I'm going to cut a little bit away from that mark there, that, that pencil line, with my knife. And I've got to do it quite strong because I've got to get it all the way through. I haven't done that very straight, doesn't matter. Right, so now I'm going to just cut that bottom bit, cut that top bit, and take that bit out. Okay? So, hold your breath, ladies and gents. If I'm going to glue that on there, like that, I need to make sure that that is going to fit through there which it does 
and opens up now I am not 100% happy with this bit down here it doesn't quite go far enough for me so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my knife don't look and I'm just going to cut a little sliver out of it so now what I'm doing is I'm just making sure that I've got the perfect fit before I glue it down So if I were to glue that on there like that, that will now fit absolutely perfectly, just the way that I want it to. Okay? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to glue it because I'm satisfied that that fit works for those that closing mechanism. Okay, so I've got that slit that I've cut right in the middle of that card okay are we all all right with that it is very simple it's just you know you've got to check it so now i'm going to put some glue on that flap up to where that gusset is up to where the score line for that gusset is and i'm going to attach this to the very top of that flat six by four inch piece the piece that is our original base up to the score line where the gusset starts okay so i've now got a t sort of a t-shaped piece like that okay so now that will fold up like that these will fold across like that and that will go over there and will open like that okay and now I've got I've got my closure. Right. OK, it will settle itself down. But that's how we're going to put that together. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put some glue onto the back of that piece. And I'm going to attach that to the front of my book I'm going to put mine not in the center I'm going to put it up a little higher like that so now what I've got is I've got my closure and I can lift that up and I've got my photo mats there on the page and I still have all my fingers Sally you are absolutely right okay there we go now it's half past eight which kind of means we're done for tonight but all I was going to do with the rest of it was just to show you how to make another template but we'll do that we'll we'll, we'll do the other page at the beginning of next week um, but if you're if you're looking for something to do what you can do is you can base mat and I've put some pictures up um, but I'll put some more up as well if you want me to or I'll, I'll tag you in it um, if you want to decorate the rest of your pages, just the base decoration, just the flat paper, then do. OK, so what I'm talking about is this bit. Now, because I was being careful with the amount of paper that I'm using, um, you can see that I've paper pieced it. This was two different sorts of paper. So if you are following the papers that I'm using, um, you know, do just bear bear in mind that there's a reason why I've decorated it the way that I've decorated it. And I don't want you to miss out, um, you know, on on papers that you particularly like uh, because you haven't got full sheets or whatever. So do bear that in mind. So that's why you'll find that even though it looks cool and it's a design feature, it is actually deliberate because um, I ran out of paper. So these match up. If you can see what I've done is that these two opposite sides match up so this paper matches up and those match up but when you open it up inside I've used this pink and then I've used the stripes there because it just looks more interesting it just gives you something more more to look at okay on here I've done exactly the same I've cut the two opposite sides here um, and I've cut this this um, ticket paper but I've put an edge on you know with this this is what I backed the back of my other uh, the back of my um, 
part uh, on the locking mechanism with and then once again here you can see I've used the same papers here and here but when you open it up I've used different papers inside there and then on the back page um, I've just used some of that heart uh, and, and, and um, notes paper okay so that'll just give you if you want to go ahead and do that by all means do but if you don't want to do it just yet I'll be doing mine in class anyway okay so there we go right I hope that's um that's given you something to work on I hope you're all relatively sober I wouldn't do any of the fancy decorating up like for instance these bits until after we've put the pages in the book okay that would be my opinion that, that that's something that we should do last of all so I hope that's been good uh, I hope it's been understandable and we will next week we'll work on that um, pull open heart bit. So I will see you next Friday at 7.30. I'll try to remember not to forget class. Uh, have a great weekend. If you need me, um, we're actually around this week. We're around every weekend. Who am I kidding? We don't yeah. have any sort of life. We yeah, we will be packing boxes. So, so we'll be around. Um, so if you need anything, just give us a shout and we'll be more than happy to help. So thanks yep. for joining us this evening and we'll see you next Friday at 7.30. Bye, guys. Bye. Ooh.